What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniel Chan. Today I'm going to share with you guys how I edited my own portrait from something like this to this. And I really hope you guys will enjoy. Maybe? Probably? Please tell me you guys will enjoy. Please. Please. Okay, so today I'm going to use Affinity Photo and two plugins in Photoshop to finish my whole editing process. For the people who don't know what is Affinity Photo, it's actually the software made by the Serif company and it's really similar like Photoshop. But back to our topic, because it's really similar like Photoshop, so as long as you have the experience to use the Photoshop before, then I think you can still follow along even if you don't have the experience for Affinity Photo. So without further talk, let's just jump to it. Okay, you can see I already imported my pictures in the Affinity Photo and because it's a raw file, so you basically can see some information for these pictures. I actually took it by my Sony A7X Mark II, then the ISO uh, was 800, the aperture was f2.0, and uh, it's like 50 meter lens. So first thing first, what I'm going to fix it is I'm going to change the white balance. The reason why is because you can see right now the whole image looks really yellow and that's because I actually shoot it during the sunset time around 5 to 6 p.m. which uh, I actually looking for the daylight look for these pictures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, go to the white balance and I'm going to cool it down a little bit. Okay, I think right now here is pretty good. But the, right now you can see the image looks a little bit green in which I want to give it a little bit magenta to balance the white balance. Uh, yeah, I think right now it's pretty good. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some contrast for these pictures uh, just to give these pictures looks more moody. Okay, so after you add the contrast, but you can see the shadow side right now looks a little bit too dark. So I'm going to shadow, going to put out the shadow a little bit. Okay, and but also you can see right now my face uh, like here looks really bright and harsh, which I'm going to put down like highlights to so that it looks better. And maybe I'm going to put the exposure out a little bit, just stay a little bit brighter overall. And put some black point dark a little bit, just added more contrast and brighten it a little bit. Okay, so I think I already done for all the uh, basic correction for this picture now. And so I'm going to click the develop button. I'm going to actually uh, to do the further uh, editing for this picture. So first thing first, I'm going to do, you can notice there have some stain and some stuff on the ceiling, which is really distracting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to here using the impending brush tool to erase all the things on the ceiling. So you can see it's really like a Photoshop. Um, just basically you just select the portion that you don't want in the image and they will just um, automatically just erase it for you but it just takes a little bit time to do it after the stand on the ceiling the next thing I'm going to remove is the the mole and the pox on my face and this is really important because of the portrait the first thing everyone will see is the face so you really need to that it looks clean and attractive so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lot on it to give it the teal and orange looks, which is the lot I actually made by myself. I will put the links down below, then you guys can feel free to download it and test it by yourself. So right now I'm going to go to lot. Okay, so lot, lot. And lot I actually put it in the, um, here, Daniel lot one. So after I put a lot on it, you can see it already looks a lot better. But right now you can also see a lot right now is too much, which I'm going to dim the opacity down a little bit, probably to 
50% to 60% let me see I think 50% right now looks pretty good so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the curves tool and I'm going to basically refine and balance my pictures a little bit so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use that edge SO tool to add some separation for my pictures which is the edge SO tool is right here but you can see if I just, just add some saturation for my pictures it will actually impact the whole pictures which is not what I'm looking for I actually prefer my main subject and the picture looks more saturated and more brighter uh, than the background so which I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the select tool to select myself in the image to separate me and the background it takes a little bit of time but I can guarantee you guys it's definitely worth it you just need to make sure you select everything and you know not don't be lazy because it really can make a lot of difference okay so after we select everything the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kill a little refine uh, you can actually to making sure that we are select the right portion in this image so what I'm going to do next right now is I'm going to add the HSO tool and this you can see this only from for myself which is uh, the celeb portion itself and I'm also gonna to put the brightness layer on it okay so I'll move this two on the top okay so I'll change the name and here will be like a uh, Daniel uh, HSO and here is uh, Daniel brightness okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deselect the select portion uh, command plus D and I'm going to do this I'm going to first thing use uh, the HSO tool for the whole image to unsaturate for everything okay so probably right here and the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to do the Daniel HSO uh, tool which is I'm going to saturate myself in the image you can see and it only saturated myself in the image and also I want myself to look a little bit brighter in the image actually some people would just like ask me why I need to that myself looks brighter but you can actually see the difference for my personally I really like myself looks more stand out in the image so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'll go to the red uh, HSO tool in the red portion I'm going to just saturate my skin a little bit and also go to the yellow part just saturate my clothes and also because my blue jeans is cyan I'm going to cyan I'm going to saturate a little bit I think right now looks pretty decent and the next thing you're going to do is to go to the selected color this tool actually for you to change the individual color in your image which for here first thing I'm going to go to red uh, because I feel like right now the overall the red in my image looks a little bit yellow um, I want it to look more orange so the next one I'm going to the yellow and I'm going to put some more yellow on my clothes also I'm going to go to the cyan and just give it more blue and the white you can see actually if I change it uh, it will be turned to red or like a blue and which is the blue is what I'm looking for on the highlight wise okay so right now I feel my skin is too saturated so I'm going to actually desaturate a little bit okay probably right here and the next layer that we are going to put for our image is the uh, color balance layer and this is tool for you to actually to change the color for your highlight for your mid-tone for your shadow so for here I always have the 
SOP to do this because I use the teal and orange a lot. So mostly you that your shadow side looks blue and that your highlight side looks orange. But I notice a lot of time the blue in the shadow side is sometimes too much. So I'm always that the shadow side uh, to give you some red, you, which you can see right here. Just that it looks more natural for me. But if you, I slide this to the blue, you can see uh, I feel like blue is too heavy, too much. That's why I don't think it looks really natural. So the mid tone, I'm going to get is some blue. And the highlight also gave you some blue. Good. Basically, it just reverse the teal and orange color comes out because normally the teal will be in the shadow side, the orange will be on the highlight side. But I just reverse a little bit. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use two shopping tools to that my image looks more sharper. And the first tool that I'm going to use is called uh, Clarity, which is can that the detail of my image looks more obvious. And the second one is on sharp mask tool, which this can help me to that my age and the lines in the image looks more obvious. So let's just go to the filters and sharpen and the clarity you can see if I slide it you can actually you can see on the ceiling it already looks a lot different so for here I'm probably going to do give it like a 30% um, because if you just like that it too sharp it will also looks a little bit unnatural the second one is I'm going to that the unsharp mask and actually just in emphasize our line and edge in the pictures which I think here is pretty good okay so the last thing that we are going to do in the finished photo is I'm going to crop this image a little bit basically I feel like the ratio right now is not that perfect I want uh, my face to be the first spot that uh, people see in this image which is you see it's like a triangle so right now after I crop it I feel like the first expression that we see in this image will be my face okay so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to the export this image to the PNG file to the desktop and I'm going to call it Daniel 1 to the desktop so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use two plugins in Photoshop to actually to let my image pop out a little bit more. So we will just jack on uh, my image to the Photoshop right here. Okay, so the two plugins that I'm going to use for today, uh, the first one is called Protractor. Uh, it's specifically I use for the skin touch tool. It's a really powerful tool. I already use it for like two to three years and you really can save you a lot of time to uh, fixing your skin. And the second plugin that I'm going to use called Exposure. I specifically use it for add the green in my picture to that it have the film looks that I'm looking for. And that's, so let's just open the Protractor first to fix my skin. So we are going to Filter and Protractor 3. Okay, so you can see right here, they actually have a lot of like setting right here, default setting. You can choose uh, a lot of options and you can also use the skin max on it. But for here, because I think my skin looks actually pretty decent in this picture. So for me, I'm just gonna to smooth it, which I'm going to use the normal one and smooth it probably 100%. And if I magnify for you guys, and you can see the difference. You can see my skin looks um, just smoother after I use this. So I'll click OK. I'll rename it called it Skin. So the next and the last step that we are going to use is I'm going to add some grain in my picture, which I'm going to filter Alien Skin and Exposure X2. So when I open the exposure, you can see right here, um, there's actually like a thumbs up options like in the exposure interface. Uh, you can actually just add in your own photos in the exposure. But I, mostly I just specifically use it for the added green. And the reason why is because uh, you can see they have a lot of preset right here. They have like different type of the green that you can use to uh, 
to give your picture a different kind of green looks. And normally, uh, I will always use this like regular green 100%. And for right now, I think 100% is too much. So I'm going to give it like a 40%. Let me see. Yeah, I think 40% looks really the same. Like, sorry, probably 30, 30%. I don't want it too much, but just like give you a little bit texture. So, sorry, I'll just like get it in between 30 to 40, probably 35 percent. I think it's pretty cool. Then we are click the apply button, and we are done for our editing for today. So after 20 minutes, we turn something like this to this. I know it's probably not the most accurate or most efficient way to editing the portrait. So it's the way I develop by myself time by time and I find it really useful to fit to my own editing process. So I hope after you guys watch this video, you can find it a little bit useful and maybe you can take something away from it. Okay guys, so thanks again to watch my channel. If you like this video, please click the like button and maybe subscribe my channel if you are still hesitating. Of course, if you have any problem or question, please feel free to leave the comment in below. I'm always happy to see what you guys think and the suggestion you guys have. And the second wave of virus is coming, so please stay home, wash your hands often. If you really need to go out, please remember to wear your mask. And I really want to see you guys in the next video safely. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.